Welcome to Dude RV. I sure appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for a virtual tour of the Juniper Point Campground on Lake Texoma. We're going to start out with Juniper Point West because you see Juniper Point has got two different sides and there's a state highway in between. So we're going to run down here and check out Juniper Point West and then we're just going to scoot right across the highway and see Juniper Point East. Let's cue the music. Now if you're coming down here with a an RV and you really have to have a concrete pad, this is going to be the side. The side. Juniper Point West is the campground for you. As you can see, there's a commanding view of the bridge. We have a boat ramp. For my boat ramp fans, we're not going down there because that's really steep. Now what makes Juniper Point West different than Juniper Point East is that all of the campsites over here have concrete pads and there's 50 amp service. Whereas the east side only has 30 amp service. Well, let's go down here and I'll, I'll give you a better look at some of these campsites. Flight number seven. It's a sweet one. I don't know that you'd be able to get a great big pusher coach in here. Some of them would, like this one. That one, that one would just work. And back here toward the back are what appear to be, or once were, tent camping sites. That's a bit of a rough road. And you have areas like that that are closed off. Oh, bumpy, bumpy. All right, and this is where the Cross Timber Hiking Trail is located. So this is the trail, one of the trail areas. There. So there's no horses allowed, but I think they allow dogs. I think most of these were at one time primitive campsites, but no longer. Because there are signs that say, no camping. Moving right along. Don't be surprised if we have some deer running out across the road. 
I had two jump out in front of me in the pickup earlier. Such a beautiful day. Here it is. It is March 9, 2022. We're supposed to be 70 degrees or so tomorrow. And then the next day, which would be Friday, we've got sleet and snow in the forecast. Hopefully, that'll be the last blast of winter weather. Of course, with fuel prices being so astronomically high, uh, we're having to rethink our travel plans for this year. These are probably the nicer showers. All right, now we gotta dash across the highway and we'll go check out the east side. Not so bad, not so bad. This way first. That is where the defunct out of order dump station is. Group pavilion with the big can on end. Uh, pit toilets. Vault toilets. Well, we shall zip on around a few curves. Speed limit is 15 miles an hour. I don't have a speedometer. So I'm good. It may be, I think the temperature right now is about 60 degrees, but man, it is chilly. Mouth is getting cold. All right. We're gonna be on rough roads from this point on. 
but first, but wait, there's more. We must see the boat ramp. Single laner. But they have a nice courtesy dock and fishing platform. The lake appears to be pretty dang low. There's buoys out there laying on their side. All right, it says do not enter. Oh no, breaking the law, breaking the law. You'll have to catch me. So these are all 30 amp and water sites. There are 30, 38 sites on this side. And most of them are waterfront. I imagine that this place is jam-packed during summer. I've recently been, been introduced to a new tool that helps get reservations. That'll be in, a, in an upcoming Friday's Find video. I'm still figuring it out. Do not enter one way and we're going the wrong way. That's all right, there's, there's not anybody here to complain. And we are at the end of the road. As you can see, I do not have a motorhome with me. But these are still so much fun. You'll have to go back in time and see last Sunday's video to understand why there's no motorhome. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you right here. Hey, if you enjoyed our run through Juniper Point, east and west, I'd be honored if you'd click on, I'd, I'd, I'd truly appreciate it if you'd click on that thumbs up and blast me out across your social media. That, that really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you've not already, I would be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, that's why I'm out here doing this. That's why I do what I do. Thank you so much for that opportunity and for my patrons. You rock! Alright, y'all come back now, you hear?